If you mess up, can you still call yourself a vegan? In my opinion, yeah, you can absolutely still call yourself a vegan. Even if it wasn't like an accident that you ate some non-vegan food and you just consciously decided, I'm going to eat this hamburger or I'm going to eat this pepperoni pizza. You know, you, you're basically, you're still in transition. You're just a transitioning vegan. That's all it is. And the best thing that you can do is just get right back on the horse. And the best thing that we can do as people who have not slipped up for a while and really don't really have any inclination to ever slip up, the best thing that we could do is be encouraging to this, these people instead of like bashing them, telling them they're a fake vegan, they're not a real vegan, they're really not in it for the animals, like telling them all these negative things. I mean, I, I kind of think of it as somebody who just started going to the gym and they really want to do it, they really want to be dedicated, but you know, it's raining outside or it's snowing outside the first day that's just like in not great weather and they decide, you know what, I'm not going to go to the gym today because I don't really feel like it. The worst thing you could probably do is berate them for that. The best thing you could do is just say, hey, get back on the horse, do it next time, you know? Um, you know, how, how horrible did you feel when you didn't go to the gym, you know? Most of the time people feel terrible when they eat something non-vegan if they really want to be vegan. So I know that it's really easy to bash people, but it's going to be much better for the planet themselves and the animals if we just encourage people to be vegan. And I feel like once you step out, you kind of know once you step out of the transitioning phase and into full-fledged veganism, uh, when you see like a chicken wing and it doesn't really register as food anymore. Like it just seems kind of like an object. Like if somebody waves it in your face, like you, you literally, you just don't want it anymore, you know, because of what it stands for, what it tastes like, what the texture, like you kind of, you get over it basically. Uh, and that's when you know that you're no longer in the transitioning phase, you're a full-fledged vegan, and now it's your turn to help other people who are still trying to get out of that transitioning phase. This is my first time going there as a vegan, so I wasn't sure exactly what to expect, uh, but it was actually a lot easier than I thought it might be. 